Well, the transfer window has slammed shut. We had to stave off multiple offers for multiple players, but everybody has stayed. So nothing new to look out in the transfer window, but Michael McNeil stays. Uh, Jordan Mensa stays. Sandy Ramsey stays. The only person that's not happy is Stuart Carpenter and his manager because he just can't break into the side uh, except as a substitute. Roll the intro. Let's get into the episode. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to our FM21 Journeyman Save Club 3, Episode 3. We are at Leicester City. Let's take a look at some highlights first of all, and then we will get you caught up on scores. We were taking on Blackburn Rovers at home at the King Power and we start off Romain with a square. Day cuts it right through the middle and Robert Cernan ends that one. Robert Cernan has now made his international debut as well. Romain a set piece into the box and they tried to clear it. McNeil gets in front of Uche and it bounces back into the goal. Romain would then get a goal of his own with a penalty, making it 3-0. Off of a throw-in, Romain wheeled playing back at left back. Mikatin gets his first shot deflected, gets the rebound, and makes it count the second time, putting us up 4-0. In the 61st minute, they do get a goal back, and that would be the final at 4-1. to one. Very dominant performance, 16 shots to 4, and a very good job there. Taking a look at the schedule from where we left off, which was against Walsall last episode. We beat Nottingham Forest 4-0. Robert Cernan with a hat trick. Kevin Day added a goal as well. We did have a 1-1 draw against MK Dons. Kayasuke Nugami, the Japanese international, got the goal for us in this one. We did lose to Chelsea. Jordan Mensah put us up 1-0. They got a 90-second minute equalizer and then beat us on penalties. Robert Cernan uh, missing the fifth shot, uh, which would have equalized for us. Uh, he wasn't the only one to miss. We had two misses in the, in that round. Uh, Andrew, Andre, not Mikatin, uh, Stanaklescu, Stana, uh, yeah, that guy. Uh, but he missed, uh, he was third in order. He missed that one. And Cernan was fifth uh, in the go round, and he missed his shot as well. Uh, then we drubbed Luton Town 9-0. Romaine with a hat trick. Mikatin got a goal. Lindorfo from the midfield. Nagami with a brace. Wheeled and Stigen Henson's uh, out on wing as a replacement. And then a 6-0 win over Blackpool. Mikatin wheeled Day and Gomez Santos with goals. And Romaine got a brace in this one. So... Pretty good run of form. 12 matches in, we've got 27 points, 8 wins, 3 draws, and only 1 loss. A plus 30 goal differential. We have gone back to the 4-2-4 four, four, uh, with 2 strikers. Uh, just trying to get Mikatin in and taking a look at that tactic here. Uh, that lets us get Mensa back on the pitch along with Romain, pushing Mikatin up top and having both uh, he and Cernan on the pitch at the same time. So there's the highlights. We'll be right back for the kickoff against Huddersfield. All right, we're going to go with a little bit of a rotation. Oh, and I forgot to make one change. My assistant manager wants to keep putting Van Essen in. Rollinson in goal, wheel at left back. Ramsey will start at center back today. Lindorfo also in there. Felix at right back. Nagami and Day in the mid, Romain and Mince on the wings. Mikatin and Gomez Santos will get into the starting 11 today. Just trying to get a little going forward for him. Get him some match fitness, a little bit of game time. We're in the blue and white. No, we're not. We're in, we're in 
Some kind of burgundy maroon. Interesting. All right. I didn't even know Lester had that color kit. Shows how much I've paid attention. Mensa. Nice drop-in pass. Gomez Santos gets it blocked away. Dangerous pass back to the keeper. But a good early attack, if nothing else. Both sides with an early shot. They've had one on target. Romain launches a set piece. There's a header that goes wide of the mark, giving Huddersfield the goal kick. They're playing a 4-2-3-1 to counter our 4-2-4. Wheel to Mikaton. Good first touch in the box. And looks like he earned his a corner there, kicking it off of Swan. Hooking in, but nobody's challenging in the box. I really need to consider looking at some set pieces. Uh, I didn't know if he was just going to get the ball and that was a foul or what, but it looks like it was just a good tackle. But it doesn't matter. It comes right back on the attack. What a pass there. Good foot by the defender. Mensa gets the outlet pass from the back. Felix takes the throw. Launched in at the back post. And Romain comes in from the left wing. Puts the header down on the turf. And puts one in the back of the net. And that puts us up 1-0. And that was a nice cross and finish by our attack. Always good. Oh, he launches one. Mikaton runs onto it. He's got an open goal, and he shoots wide. Oh, he needs to do a little bit better than that. Let's demand a little bit more here from him. Day, Nagami, Mikaton. Oh, there was a nice entry pass. Mikaton, good save by the keeper. We'll take the goal, the corner off of that, but nothing happens. They don't have anybody pushing forward at all to make those outlet runs. Oh, and Mikaton looks near post twice. Looks like he gives us a corner. Good. Seven shots to two, five on target. Would have liked to have seen, uh, I think that was Romain. Would have liked to have seen him give a little bit better effort to get to that ball that came out to his half of the field. Yeah, we don't have anybody. I've got to, I've got to go do that after this match is take a look at my set pieces. Just have to. Because our set pieces are pretty pathetic. Oh, he launches that one up. Wheel from his left back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I thought that was a save, but it went wide. Still, we're looking the dominant side here. Ramsey's tired already. Hmm. We had to give uh, Nogami a rest for a week. And then as soon as we gave him a rest, he went off to Japan for international duty. Oh, that was uh, from the edge of the box all the way back to central mid. That's interesting by a striker. Oh, there's a header cleared away. And, oh, Gomez Santos grabs his head. Cannot believe he missed that one. Wheel loses it on the overlap. Again, look at the lump forward, and they don't have anybody up there. Good pass over to Romain. There's a header right into McDonald's hands. He holds on to it. 
We're doing okay, though. I mean, I would like... Boy, Ramsey is dead tired. I may have to pull him off. Rollinson makes the save, but then Ogbonna runs it out of play. Poor effort on his part. I would expect a little bit better. Good pass. Oh, there's a good ball in. Mikatin takes a left foot. It's saved again by McDonald. That was unlucky. That was right on target. That should have been a goal. Ramsey up into the attack. Through ball to Weed. Just cannot break that defense down too easy. Oh, taken down in the box. Felix hits the deck. It's going to be a penalty, and Romaine steps up to take it. It would be really good to get this goal. Oh, my God. As soon as I said it, I said, boy, I just jinxed that, didn't I? Just jinxed that horribly. And we've been we've been scoring pretty well. We've been we've been looking a good side. Oh, there is a nice finish by Jordan Menza. I think it was Gomez Santos that knocked that down to him. That was a brilliant play. I was not even expecting a shot there. Good cross in. Yeah, Gomez Santos just tapped it, and he actually wrapped around on that pass. That looked difficult to do. All right, day. It's in. Oh, and it gets towed over by Mikaton. I'm thinking about going back to our other tactic here in the second half. I mean, I'm probably crazy for thinking that. The rationale, I'm yawning, it's, uh, I don't even know what time it is. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since 1 o'clock. Insomnia hit me last night, so I've been, I recorded one episode for the uh, single team save with DeGroff Shop, and then uh, had to do off-season transfers, and then in this one I had to go ahead two weeks and finish out transfers here. Uh, let's pump our Fist. I know you're capable of better. You know, the numbers tell me we're playing well. I'm going to hit early crosses, and I'm going to take off run at defense. Just see if that gives us anything else. You know, maybe some quicker crosses. Good tackle. Oh, he's already tired. You know what? I'm going to have to sub him out. We're going to bring on Corbett. Yeah, he can do a job. He can do a job. Gomez Santos is on that. He's got Mikatin. And he takes it all the way in. Cannot convert. Corbett's on. Ramsey makes way. Just we've got a little bit of match congestion. That is something you run into here in the championship with twice a week matches and you start throwing cup matches in there and it uh, it can get crazy real quick. Agbana, good run by him. Beats two or three defenders and then puts it into the side netting. Lucky, lucky. Let's demand more again. I mean, everybody's playing well. 
Lindorfo. Picks out Menza. Felix goes on the overlap. Menza either didn't see him or ignored him. There's a good cross out to him. Oh, Romain takes a crack at it. Too many bodies in the way. A 2.72 XG. We've got two goals that we've scored. Back to Lindorfo. That does not develop. All right, let's look at another sub here. Frustrated by the feedback that I'm demanding more. Hello. All right, you know what? I'm going to give Carpenter. I might, but that's not what I need now. Let's give Matthews some game time. Let's put him in for Nagami at that playmaker position, I think. Let me see. I'm going to switch these two guys, though. There we are. That'll be our second substitution of the match. And Day immediately goes, <laughs> goes dead, as does Romaine. Mikatin called for an offsides there. 12 of our 18 shots have been on target. All right, let's make one final substitution here. Uh, let's see, I've got mid center. You know what? Let's put, uh, let's drop Mikatin back to there. And then we'll bring Cern uh let's bring Carpenter on. Let's give Carpenter some match time. There, you know, he's supposed to be a regular starter, and he's not going to be. Uh, I fully expect at the winter transfer window that they recall him from loan. Oh, well, there's a nice drop in. Gomez Santos Mensa. Oh, Matthews is there. Just too much traffic. Six or seven players in the box. That is, I mean, they're, you know, they're not parking the bus, but they're playing deep. <laughs> that header goes over. I've definitely got to look at set pieces, I guess. I usually never mess with them, but I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I mean, we don't have anybody in the box, really. Everybody is out at the edge. Oh, Carpenter gets it taken away. That's why you're not starting. <laughs> Matthews. He can't do anything. There's the full-time whistle. It's a hard-fought 2 nothing victory. We were definitely the better side. 3.23 to 0.47 on the XG. Uh, I'm going to go hands in that, and I'm going to say that was a let-off. Yeah, a little bit of a let-off. Just one point behind Sheffield United. Oh, there was, uh, you know when you get that email in the game about the uh, the biggest spenders in the transfer window? Um, I don't know if I can find that. No, I can't. But typically, you you know, it's Bundesliga, League Un, Serie A. Premier League, you know, the five big leagues that are typically the biggest spenders. Premier League was not in there. $856 million dropped in the transfer window by the championship this year, and it wasn't our fault. It wasn't our fault. We only spent $46 million. Somebody out there dropped a shit ton of money, and I'm guessing... Guessing it was one of the recent arrivals. They spent 82, sold 178. I'm looking at the relegated teams. Lincoln bought 90 and sold 225. Wow. I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure it's that it was the most active in transfer dollars. But I don't know 92 i mean you know that's 100 million almost but they did oh and there's jordan men's at our club but yeah that's just a lot of money 
So, all right. Well, second place, I'll be okay with that because that's still automatic promotion. Two-point gap over Norwich. Opening up a little gap over Birmingham and the rest of the playoff teams. If we can keep that going, then I will be very happy. So we're going to go on a run of games here. Tell you what, let's come back. Sheffield United is top of the table. Let's come back for uh, Sheffield highlights and West Ham for the match. That'll be the end of the season. And uh, that'll jump us up to the transfer window. They do want us to reach the fourth round. We're only in the third round of the FA Cup. That'll be a quick turnaround for that. That'll be like the next match. I tell you what, we'll come back for Norwich and Everton. Those are both relegated sides from the Premier League. Sold a lot of players. Bought a bunch of players in. Let's do that, and then we'll, then we'll probably look at kicking off at the beginning of January with the FA Cup. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget, hit the notifications so you get reminders for daily Football Manager content Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. Central Time in the States, 2 p.m. in the afternoon in London, and whatever time you are around those vicinities. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Talk to you later. Bye.